so I don't think my stroke is very good, so I'm going to try wrapping this mandrel around twice. And what just happened there is that the mandrel slipped into the tenon part because I think I didn't drill the hole quite deep enough. I think it's going to work for now though. So I'm just going to try and put it back on. And now my treadle is a little higher. Is that going to clear the post? Not yet. Let's try again. And it feels uncomfortable for me to hold it like this, but I know that this is the way most people do it with it resting in the crook of their elbow like this. Naturally, I feel like I want to grab it like this. So I'm going to probably try a bit of both ways and, and see how I go. good job axing this blank out but either I've done a bad job centering it and that's why it's so rough or it just wasn't as good as I thought on the uh, on the axe work I have a feeling that I made my mandrel out of a material that is too weak and it's not holding on uh, on the lathe. That's my theory. We'll see. I'm going to try getting some beeswax in the um, around the centers, see if, if I lubricate it well enough, if it's not going to jump off like that while it spins. I'll just turn it gently for a while and once I've knocked off the high spots maybe it'll stop trying to fly off the lathe. about moving in um, small arcs and shifting across as you go. I'm trying to, to get a nice smooth shape on here and that's probably the thing I've, I'm going to focus on the most. Um, don't care too much about the surface finish. Come to think of it, probably my priority should be the other way around. I should be trying to learn to, to use the tools and get a smooth finish rather than trying to make an aesthetically good bowl. But I feel like 
I can see the shape that I want, and if I can't execute it, I'm going to be frustrated. trouble keeping my foot on the treadle and I'm just doing my best to try and um, only engage the tool on the downstroke which is something I struggled with before so I'm getting a I think a slightly better shape now I don't actually want this step in here I'm gonna try and, sm and smooth that whole thing out I might lose a bit of depth doing that but so be it Too much. That's a patch. spectacular. Let's regroup. I'm going to see if um, just whacking, whacking it on harder when I put it mounted on the lathe is going to be the solution for me for this um, flying off situation. But I, I'm fairly certain now that my mandrel is too weak and that it's chipping out the wood and flying off. Um, and I don't feel like making a new one so we're just going to persevere for now. Every time it falls it seems to be flying straight down so I've got that going for me. I did get a bigger mallet, we'll see if that helps. Got a big axe gouge here that I'm going to want to turn out. Can I move my tool post? Yes. Is that going to... Yes.
<laughs> right now I'm feeling as if uh, most of the difficulty that I'm having doing this turning is like related to my posture or something. Because I just feel so awkward pushing the treadle. Maybe I've got my foot too high. Maybe I, maybe I need to do only one loop around the mandrel or change my string length. I'm not sure. Okay. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that shape. I'm gonna, fingers crossed, do one more, one more pass and try not to ruin it. Now I don't want to go too far the other way and have it fall off this way because that seems worse. Got a little spot here to take out. I've got a little. I seem to have taken out my axe catch on the bottom here. So yeah, it's just um, trying to trying to find a nice shape. I also feel like I need a better block to stand on, because at the moment I'm not really seeing the point of standing on the block, which I feel like is reflective of my block not being like, correct or something. I don't know if it's correct, but as I get towards the lip of the bowl, I find myself tilting my hook just up and up a little bit. I'm going to attempt to turn a little bit of a cove in here. A, bit, a little bit of a hollow near the rim. I feel like that might improve the shape of my bowl. Oops! Didn't want to do that. So the way it was described is you sort of start here and then do an arc with your body, if I remember correctly. Try that again. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. So I'm using my tip down, tip down tool, which I think was the wrong move here because I've just chipped it out. See if I can get that to cut without patching. Yep. Oh, that's a bad one. How do I rescue that? I'm going to plunge in from the side. that up a little bit with this tool. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop and, and look at what I'm supposed to be doing because this ain't it. But I did get a bit of a lip on here, I'm gonna try and push that a bit more with the other tool. See if I can get it looking purposeful. something wrong there but I'm not unhappy about the result you know let's have a look at where I've gotten to before we um, turn it around here's the shape I'm not unhappy about it I think it'd be make a nice little soup bowl or something ideally I'd want a shallower kind of curve but with the piece of wood that I had I think this is fine so I'll flip it around and I believe 
The next thing I want to do is to turn a little chamfer on here before I start to hollow it out. And if there's like a correct border to tap things together, I don't know it. Feel free to pipe in if you know better. The brim. I think that's too steep. Try a little, uh, I'm probably gonna block the camera here, but I'll try a little shallower. All right, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. Okay, so I think I understand my mistake, which was starting at the rim and trying to plunge in instead of starting at the core and creating a channel first. So I'm, I'm gonna, try and, and remedy that with the tip down tool coming in under here and we'll see how we go. Bit of mess to get rid of first but we'll get there. Okay, let's try that again. done it like a barbarian but I appear to have started to form my core now so I can chase that down. Let's try again. Okay, much nicer cut if I get down a little bit lower down here. I think we'll get the other hook and come in from the rim. Getting it up in my face. I'm supposed to be digging a little channel in like that, so I think I might be going too far when I do this. I'll try and clean it up. understand the edge presentation on these and, and how they actually cut seems to have been the most helpful for me in terms of starting to get the a good cut going. Okay, so I've had a little practice while I waited my camera battery to charge and I think I just about understand the two cuts that you use to hollow the bowl. Getting a good finish inside here is, is still defeating me but we're working on it. So I'm gonna try and do another run of chasing down the core and then we'll try and push this a little bit deeper being mindful of the geometry on the outside.
So I'm using the tip down hook to try and move the core down a bit. Mine's a little uneven, so I feel like I should even it up first. At the risk of making it too thin. Trying to stay away from the rim. That's better. I think I could go a little deeper before I change tools again. Just experimenting with changing where I place the tool in the bowl to get different kinds of cuts. Like up here, I'm going to catch the rim, but down here, there's quite a bit of space. Let's try and get this in a little bit more. I'd say I've got about a centimeter of thickness now, and I want to get down to about half that at least. The, uh, the idea that I need to change the presentation of the tool to the bowl as I go into the core is, is a little bit tricky to me. Like, uh, I'm, I'm happy T taking a cut and, and going with it for the outside, but but changing my angle as I go for the inside is I'm finding it a, a bit tricky and I'm getting some little scars in here as a result of that. So I might just try and tidy up some of those. I found that knot the other side of that knot. Wrong one. I was using the, the wrong hook there, that's why that didn't do anything. I think. No. Not sure why that's not working. moment. Interestingly, just like um, a few hours um, off the tools and I've already forgotten how to do it. There we go. Just a combination of forgetting which one was the right tool to use and what orientation to hold it in. try this again. I'm a bit wary about my wall thickness, but I do want to get that even on the inside. another run. I find I'm holding quite a lot of tension in my body so I'm getting really tired but I don't think you actually need to, so I probably just need to change my, um, try and, try and loosen up and let the tool do the work, because I'm really 
pumping down on it. But we're getting there. I'm trying to remember to get a full stroke with my foot. Right. I'm catching now, so I think I need to chase the core down a bit more. Evening out the shape without punching through is still a bit of a mystery to me right now, but I'm feeling pretty happy about it. I have once again forgotten how to use this tool. Uh, is it? Catch. Forgetting what I'm doing. Okay, let's try this. Okay. We got it. I think. Oh gosh. Messy, 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 messy. Okay, let's start up here. the light through it so that's a bad sign. I definitely don't have the room to mess around in there anymore. snap it. Do this too well. Woo! We did it. felt a bit risky. Just taking the opportunity to round out the bottom of the bowl because I know I didn't do the world's best job down there. Um, and I think it's looking pretty good. Flip it around again. It's not 
get too excited. Fuck. Oh no. I've done it. It went right through the bottom. Ay ay ay. Well, you can't win them all. Looks like I've carved too deeply under here. You know, we'll take it as a learning learning experience. Let's let's split it in half and and look at it. Look at the wall thickness. As I suspected, we've got a few weak points here that got pretty thin. Um, in here, I've got a bit of a gouge, and I've hollowed away too much on the foot. Dove in too much here, and, and it got very, very thin here at the base. So I think even if I hadn't have cut through with my knife just then, it still would not have survived with that uneven wall thickness. And it's a little bit thick up here at the lip as well, but I don't know if that's the worst thing in the world. I think that's acceptable. I think the finish is okay. It's better on this half. This half just looks better all around, which I know makes no sense, but that's all right. On to the next one. See you on part two. <laughs>